Subscribe to Smartphone Tutorials and hit the notification bell icon to get instant notification. All right, all right. So today again, we're going to talk about another ROM for the K20 Pro that is Zen X OS. I've heard quite a lot about this ROM, but I don't remember trying it on any other device in the past. So we're going to install it. We're going to preview it, the usual drill that we do on Smartphone Tutorials. But before we do that, I request you awesome people to go ahead and help us get the Pocophone F1 back to the channel. You can donate just $1 or nothing at all it's completely your call it is not compulsory but the link is in the description and on the community and later i will be giving away that phone to one lucky person now without further ado hello awesome people welcome to smartphone tutorials my name is kalash let's get going Hey guys, welcome to another video and in today's video we are going to install and preview a new ROM. The name of the ROM is Zenex OS. Now, whenever we do an install and preview, there are a certain disclaimers. But before I give you that, let me tell you that we have a Telegram channel wherein you can join and have a lot of fun chatting with us. We also have a Discord server which is combined for the gaming channel and the tech channel. The links for both of these are mentioned in the description. Please go ahead and check them out as well. Now, you need to have your battery more than 50%. Make sure all of your data is backed up because we will be wiping almost everything, including internal storage. And you need to have the MIUI vendor relevant to your device, depending on the region you are in. You need to have the ROM file. You need to have G apps. We use Open G apps Pico version. You need to have a bootloader unlocked and you need to have a custom recovery installed as well. If you have all of these, you are good to go. Now for me, I don't use the internal storage to flash ROMs as you might be knowing if you're a regular subscriber on my channel. I use a OTG cable with a pen drive connected. So let's go ahead and connect the flash drive first. All right, so first what we're going to do here is we'll go to format data. Now, why do we do format data? You can avoid this step because you can go ahead and use a decrypted ROM. I always use an encrypted system and that is the reason I format data in each of my installs and previews. Now, remember, whenever you format data, it actually goes ahead and deletes your internal storage as well. So let's go to manage partitions, data, format data, hit yes and select the tick mark. All right. Now, once data has been formatted, you need to go to reboot and recovery. Wait for the phone to boot back into the recovery here. Now we will go to wipe. We'll wipe Dalvik cache system data and internal storage. It is okay to not wipe the vendor if you are already on the latest vendor available for your dis device and needed for that ROM. So I'm not going to wipe the vendor over here because that will save us some flashing time. Now, once everything is wiped, remember at this point of step, you don't need to go ahead and reboot. We will directly go ahead and flash Zenex OS. Now, as I mentioned earlier, we are not going to be flashing the vendor because that is already installed. So let's go ahead and install Zenex OS. You can see the build date is the 18th of September. So this is one of the latest versions available. So select this file here, swipe to flash. Now this flash will take anywhere between two to three minutes, post which we will reboot the phone. We will have a quick look at it, like a first look. I will share my impressions and then maybe I will be using this ROM for a couple of days to check out if it is a daily driver or not, if it is better than any other custom ROMs or not. So far on our channel, we have reviewed Resurrection Remix, Corvus OS. We have reviewed Pixel Experience Plus Aero OS. So a lot of ROM reviews are coming hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you want to see those reviews real quick. All right, so as you can see, the ROM has been flashed. Now what we're gonna do is we will quickly go ahead and flash G apps, that is the Pico G apps. All right, so as you can see, the ROM has been installed, G apps have been installed, so let's wipe cache. Okay, now let's reboot system. The first boot will take anywhere between 30 seconds to a minute. I remember back in the day when I used to flash ROMs on a lot of device, devices, I used to say that the first boot will take anywhere between five to 10 minutes. And as you can see over here, Zenex is booting and the boot animation looks great. 
All right, so as you can see, we are on the home screen right now. I do have two options over here, lawn chair or quick step. Let's use the lawn chair launcher. And this is a sort of a pixel-esque launcher. And the Google Now feed is not coming from the left. I really like how they have, uh, you know, mentioned attribute wallpaper over here. Chadwick Boseman, Black Panther. That is really, really nice. Uh, overall, this ROM feels very, very snappy and the first impressions are really, really good. But what I really, really liked here is the Zen Hub. If you have a look, as I mentioned in, you know, my Evolution X or Resurrection review as well, that you can add all the customization you want, but how you lay it out, how you present it in front of the users really, really makes a lot of difference to the quality of your ROM. If we go to about, you can see over here, this is the change log. This is one of the latest versions of Zen X OS. And uh, we do have a lot of customization available over here. Even if we go to say network and internet and select one of the SIM cards, you will see that Wi-Fi calling is available. And let me see if they have something for carrier video calling. Absolutely. So this has now become a standard for a lot of different custom ROMs for the K20 Pro, wherein Wi-Fi calling and carrier video calling have started working just fine. Now, apart from this, uh, if we go back to the home screen. So the camera that comes with this particular ROM is a neat addition. This is actually a G cam that is pre-installed in the ROM and uh, I'm really really glad they have actually done that. Anything, I mean the ANX camera or G cam, if one of the two cameras are installed in this particular ROM when you boot for the first time, it's really really nice and okay so you do have call recording as well so looks like uh, reviewing this particular rom will be a lot of fun what you saw today was the quick install and first look of zen x os on the k20 pro let me know in the comment section what do you think about this rom you know how do you feel it compares to evolution x and all of the other roms i will be reviewing this really really soon all the links are mentioned in the description until the next one this is kalash signing off at smartphone tutorials keep smiling take care goodbye Hey, hey, hey,